Hi, Seth Shostak here. Have you ever been to Easter Island? Well, maybe not. Maybe you've been to Christmas Island or Ash Wednesday Island or, or some other holiday island. But Easter Island is a little more interesting because Easter Island has these big stone heads. I mean, you've seen them in the photos. You've seen them on television. I was at Easter Island in February and, uh, you know, I was looking at these stone heads and two things occurred to me. One, why were they building these things? I mean, it would take a worker his entire life to chisel out one of these stone heads out of the rock there. Why would they do that? And more interesting, in fact, than that was the question of why did they stop? And they did stop, essentially overnight, more or less at the time of the American Revolution. I mean, you can see stone heads on the production lines at the quarry that they just stopped working on. You can see them lying on the ground where they were transporting them, and it didn't take them very long to transport these things. They, they, just, just, they just abandoned them. Suddenly, essentially overnight, stone heads were passe. Why? Well, some people think it's just a case of ecocide. In other words, you know, the islanders, the Polynesians, they just cut down all the trees. And once they cut down all the trees, they could no longer, you know, have rollers to move these things around or build boats so they could go fishing and feed themselves. Was that it? We used to think so. But there are new ideas and they're actually quite intriguing theories about what really happened on Easter Island and whether it was even a tragedy at all. Tune in this week's Big Picture Science. You can find it online at bigpicturescience.org.